Hey YouTube, it's Weird Paul. It's time once again for my monthly thrift store score video. And today, we'll take a look at my thrift store haul from December of 2017. We'll start off with books and magazines. I got a 2012 issue of DC Wonder Woman and this 1954 cartoon fun paperback. Look, this guy wants her to drive for a while. Do you see why, huh? Do you see why that he wants her to drive for a while? Oh, awesome. The novelization of Three Amigos. It's got all the photos in the middle, and it came with a Hills bookmark. It was originally bought at Hills for $2.80. I also got Breaking In, How 20 Directors Got Their Start. Mostly I bought it for the Abel Ferreira interview about Driller Killer. Also found a November 1991 issue of Inside Wrestling. We're all smiling because it was only a quarter. I got two amazing Ringling Brothers and Barman Bailey Circus program books from the 70s. They're really fun to look at, and they sure do bring back memories of from an era that has ended. Plus, I got four Ice Capade souvenir booklets from the 60s, 70s, and 80s. Look at the Jet Trail twins. Looney Land Phantasmagoria. Look at this cake. And showgirls as far as the eye can see. Let's move on to miscellaneous. I got nearly 20 keychains. Austin Powers, the Taco Bell Chihuahua, Minnie Mouse, and the band Slaughter. Here's some from M&M's, Hershey's, Pepsi, and Coors Light. This one's from Spain, and here's three with hilarious sayings on them. I also got this little lantern, a genuine pewter keychain from the 1996 Atlanta Olympics, and four vintage Garfields. But perhaps the best indicator of overweight is when you could fall down and not find out about it for days. I only got one patch this month from the Bass Angler Sportsman Society. Also, just one British postage stamp and one eraser of a stormtrooper. But I found two different wooden nickels from the 1988 Greensburg Coin Club show. A Ralph Kiner commemorative coin, a 2005 Jason Bay commemorative coin still in the plastic, and some kind of Jesus token. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. New pins from Newcastle Brown Ale, Nashville, Tennessee, the Olympics, a few from the USA, Social Distortion, and this one is from the local band Playoff Beard. And I also got a bunch of different ninja temporary tattoos. I got some brand new Disney stickers from Sandy Line and some new Sandy Line Sesame Street stickers. Plus this Cure sticker and I hope it's bowling ball. Still sealed 1986 pack of Ziggy post-it notes and a still writing set of 12 Mr. Sketch scented markers from 1995. I got a Jack Skellington postcard, a small postcard book of European churches, and this fold-out of architecture and art in Italy. I also got some artwork postcards. I'm not sure who the artists were, but maybe Niffer can tell us. So this one is by some lady, old Mary of the Dot Harry Matrix cassette, Mary Cassette. Who made that? It was the, the mother of eagles, big eagles. Uh, and who does an upside down lady? Uh, Frank Furter. Obviously, this is by the Venus of Villendorf. That was by the famous Chinese I Hate Cicada Man. Um, nobody knows who did that one because it was just rejected. And then there's the crazy Kung Pao horse rider. It was done by that famous guy, sculptor. You know, the one who did the Renoir. That's who did them, hun. Plus, I got somebody's West Virginia learner's permit, a new Dracula glow-in-the-dark Pez set, and a vintage 1982 birth certificate for a Cabbage Patch doll named Adelina Vicky, recently celebrated her 35th birthday. <laughs> okay, let's check out my audio scores. I only found two records this month. One was this live Emerson, Lake, and Palmer three-record set. The sleeve is torn up, but the vinyl is in nearly mint condition, and it only cost me a quarter. I also got this six million dollar man LP, and it's on Power Records. Am I dreaming, or is everyone in heaven as beautiful as you? You are not dreaming, and you're not in heaven, Colonel, but thanks for the compliment. Now, take your medication. Also got 17 cassettes. Arlo Guthrie, Traffic, ZZ Top, Iron Butterfly, Joe Walsh, 
Aerosmith, and the Chambers Brothers. Four cassettes by Pink Floyd and five by ACDC. I got High Voltage, 74 Jailbreak, Let There Be Rock, and two of Blow Up Your Video, and they were both different releases. And my holidays were a little merrier with the South Soul Orchestra's Christmas Jollies 2. Look at this cover. I wonder what Christmas Jollies 1 sounds like. Also got 25 CDs. Cindy Lauper, Weird Al, Lori Morgan, David Byrne, Madonna, Richard Thompson, James Brown, The Bangles, Graham Parker, Jeff Beck, The Roaches, Mick Jagger, Van Morrison, Big Audio Dynamite, Kate Bush, Lou Reed, Depeche Mode, Leonard Cohen, Connie Francis, Johnny Cash, Miles Davis, Stephen Wright, Art Tatum, The Pink Spiders, and Jerry Lee Lewis. <laughs> Now we'll move on from audio to video. I got eight more 25 cent laser discs. Got Tango and Cash, Jurassic Park, Masterpieces of Italian Art, Private Parts, The Outsiders, Arthur C. Clarke's Strange Powers, Trading Places, and Back to School. And I got me some VHS. A 1984 release of one of my favorite movies, Escape from New York. The Duke of New York is A number one. I also got Go Nagai's The Ninja Dragon, Zero Woman on Tokyo Shock, and on Tai Seng, her name is Cat. Ooh, how kinky. I also found two tapes of video rarities featuring The Cure, lots of live TV appearances. A lot of rare stuff that I haven't seen. And finally, Kennywood 1988 is 30-year-old vintage footage from the amusement park. We've got the log jammer, which closed down last year, point of view shot angles from the turnpike, and even some kinky magic show. <laughs> what are you throwing over there? And I got 70 DVDs. Here we go. I got Shanghai Noon and Kung Fu Hustle, Desert Heat, The Double, National Treasure 2, and Dying of the Light with Nick Cage. Hollywood Homicide, Secret Window, and Murder at 1600. I got a couple of Echo Bridge horror collections. The Howling 3, Scary Movie 2, The Visit, and Underworld Evolution. 80s stuff like St. Elmo's Fire, A Fish Called Wanda, The Long Riders, Richard Pryor Live on the Sunset Strip, and Nevada Heat. I love this movie. I got this four film set of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movies. X2, Spider-Man 3, Thor, and Eon Flux. Comedies, I got Ted, The Wedding Singer, Zack and Miri, A Mighty Wind, Waiting for Guffman, Blonde and Blonder, Stuck on You, Bring It On Again, Niagara Motel, Superbad, Year One and Youth and Revolt, and a three pack of Will Ferrell movies. I got Romper Stomper, Top of the World, Entrapment, Perfect Stranger, Elizabeth the Golden Age, and Grand Canyon. TV stuff, The Best of Charlie's Angels, the Howdy Doody Show, Dean Martin Roasts, Ernest's Wacky Adventures, Will and Grace Season 2, 21 Jump Street Season 3, and the complete series of Whispering Smith. Kid Stuff, Shorts, Gumby, Alvin and the Chipmunks, Kung Fu Panda 2, Justice League vs. Teen Titans, and the Looney Tunes Spotlight Collection Premiere Edition. And the classics. I got Dr. Doolittle, The Iron Mistress, A Fine Madness, The Swiss Conspiracy, the Thomas Crown Affair, Yellow Sky, A Man Called Horse, and Fun with Dick and Jane. I got two Steve McQueen movies, The War Lover and Baby the Rain Must Fall. Plus, I got the Natalie Wood collection. Six movies set, but there was only five. Oh well, I bet I'll find Cash McCall one of these days. Phew! Now we can finally get to our last category, Toys and Games. Here's something I've never had any of. A 1967 Dr. Doolittle picture card that came from Post Serial. I also got two Shopkins cards, some 90s Upper Deck football stickers, a Babe Ruth 100th birthday card, a 1982 Kmart reprint card, and a 1994 Jerome Bettis disc card from King B. also got 29 Lion King cards, 34 Beauty and the Beast cards, and over 100 Little Mermaid cards. Instant collection. I also found these random four vintage playing cards. Sweet artwork, and one was from Post Serial. Finishing this section off with 14 Dragon Ball Z cards and 42 Pokemon cards. 
Here we have cards from the 1964 Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea card game. I'm missing 18 of them, but what was I going to do, leave them there? Also got some small toys and figures. One each of Mighty Beans, Aliens, Crazy Bones, Shopkins, and Squinkies. I got a bald sword fighter, and I love this Greenbrier International figure, the kind of thing that was probably sold at a Dollar Tree store. I got a couple Digimon figurines, a Pokey, and for McDonald's, a 1990 Birdie and two 1988 Fraggles. Also found four random Viewmasters. And finally, I got some video games. Xbox Brute Force and Xbox 360 Halo Reach and Lego Dimensions. For the PlayStation, Asteroids, Medal of Honor, Stuart Little Big Photo Adventure, Moto Racer, Eliminator, Monopoly, and Pac-Man World Rally. PlayStation 2 Bad Boys Miami Takedown, Extreme Skate Adventure, and Shrek 2. This is the first PS4 game I ever bought, Batman the Telltale series. And for the Wii, I got London Taxi Rush Hour, All-Star Cheer Squad, and Wheel of Fortune! And now it's time for the finds of the month. Five in television games. I don't have any of these, and one of them is the very rare Burger Time sequel, Diner. And I finally found a Wii. I had it tested over at my mom's house, and it works great. As soon as I get the cords and remote, I'll be able to play all the Wii games I've been collecting. I spent 99 cents on it. I got everything that you saw in this video for about $27. I hope that you enjoyed my thrift store haul from December of 2017. And if you did, don't forget to click on that like button down below. I'll see you soon with more memories. Thanks, YouTube. Now, take your medication. There you are. Thank you, nurse. Uh, could you leave us alone now?